Good afternoon, this is Tony Hayes again from Paranormal Investigation UK. Today's date is the 29th of December and we're continuing to try to catch up with the large numbers of uh, CCTV captures, these alarms that have been sent in from the case in Chester. This is another one from the 16th of December and this is timed at 07.42 in the morning again from this um, area within the uh, space between the false ceiling and the actual roof itself um, because of the, the sheer amount of strange phenomena that was occurring in this building it's particularly these wraps which um, are, there's literally hundreds of these which are still trying to rule out any rational reasons or explanations for this um, we've done various acoustic tests within the empty room the phenomena in this what we call a main office flatlined about two and a half months ago uh, everything moved to the empty room the empty room has gone relatively peaceful now and the phenomena has moved back into the main office area which is around about 30 to 35 feet away um, the, the two rooms separated by a walkway and a set of stairs that leads down to the ground floor so we've actually got one camera in the office itself there's a further camera into the walkway area there's another kit to cameras here covering the outside of the building to make, just to really rule out or rule in any human interaction um, staff are aware of, of our presence there investigating and we're acutely aware of the, of the strong possibility of fraud being leaked into the uh, investigation we've come so far with this and spent put so many hours with this that we just don't want to take any risks and added to that is this area between the false ceiling and the roof area there isn't a false ceiling in the empty office but there is in the main office area which is this area here, it's a couple of feet, you can actually see the the steel frames uh, of the building itself <coughs> the reason for this is we're coming into winter period now uh, animals, vermin, birds, that type of thing may somehow get in there, we have had winter kill out there on two occasions just to inspect it and there has been absolutely no signs of any form of infestation there but we've installed two cameras anyway just to be absolutely certain there's this one here and there's one behind facing the opposite way so in principle if something's making some noises at some point in time it's going to alert the cameras so let, let's see where this one takes us nice hmm. Got no volume on this whatsoever. I'm just going to go back because it's got like, it seems to got multiple sounds in this. Uh, I'm not sure how far I can go with this camera volume wise. Um,
smells like a voice. See the sound reflection, so there's a little bit of bass there as well. Doesn't appear to be any form of um, no voice and frequency here, I'm confident with that. Really not sure. Pigeon. I really don't know. Um, I know it's not um, the wind um, because there, there was dust and cobwebs there that have been moving around. It's, it's any sort of gap, but something's in there. Um, I have a tendency to believe that this is some sort of infestation of something. I don't know what it is. Um, Twenty to eight in the morning. The sixteenth being um, days, days of sixteen, a Wednesday. I don't know. Um, I'll record that down. There's unexplained noises from um, ceiling area. It's not about as much as can do with that. There isn't an issue uh, with that. It, you, you just just have to accept it. You, we don't have the answers for everything. Uh, and this is a typical example. Um, you know, it's highly suggestive of some some rational explanation. Infestation being the um, the obvious one. Um, can't see either way because we're not seeing something in front of the camera and the other camera's not picking it up either uh, which is strange the frequency is a bit oddball uh, there is a bit of a quite a spread of frequency at the beginning that is a, that sound is what's triggered the camera and then what you get then is these smaller smaller sounds um, some of it sounds like voice-ish, but I'm pretty confident that's not a voice. Yeah, um, you got to be careful, paradox, yeah, that type of thing. I really don't know. Okay, I'll uh, mark that one down as just simply unexplained. Um, no idea with that one. See you on the next video.